I think I've made a terrible mistake. I'm doing a review. I'm doing a review. I'm doing a review. I'm doing a review. Actually, I take that back. I know I've made a terrible mistake. So what game am I reviewing? Well, let me look. Here. You can review this one. Oh great! I really wanted to review this! Why am I reviewing this? Because I hate the movie it's based on, oh. and I hate you. Anyway, hey everybody! I'm Sid, and it's time for the Summer of Disney. Cue theme song! Sid, you don't have a theme song. Oh. Well, then I'll make my own theme song. Sid, I... We already have a theme song, and I don't know where all this music's coming from. But, you can't just break the format. I mean, you're, what are you doing? You're, you're destroying what the show stands for. And I don't know why this music is getting louder, but it is... And it's really starting to annoy me, Sid. You can't do this! I'm gonna do a game review, so journalists beware. Well, I've never seen a journalist with quite outrageous hair. It's gonna be a great event, a no review before. And you ought to be pretty glad your view count's gonna soar. And if it all fails, then you're the one to blame. Oh, I finally get to review a game. Sid, let me explain to you just how you... No one's saying do this. No one's saying don't swear. Now you can't do that. No one's saying stop that. Sid, we just... No one's Sid. saying see here. See here. I won't fool around all day. I'll believe that when I see it. Finally doing things my way. I think it's time that you and I arrange the heart to heart. I don't need advice from bad reviewers for a start. What? If this is where JG Reviews is headed, count me out. Off the show and off the internet, I will not hang about. This child is starting to drive me insane. Oh, I finally get to review again. Every review will be done by me. No, they won't. He never let them do one more to shame. And after this, they ought to change the name. JG reviews will never be the same. Oh, I finally get to review a game. Oh, I finally get to review a game. Oh, I finally get to review again. So, today on the show, I'll be looking at The Lion King, based on the 1994 monster hit by Disney. Now, this game was released on the NES, Game Boy, PC, Game Gear, Sega Master System, the Super Nintendo, and the Sega Genesis. But I'll be playing the Super Nintendo version, because we only have that version and the Genesis version, and I couldn't find the Genesis cables. Everybody has seen this movie, so the story really isn't important. Now on to the gameplay. Sid. <sighs> so the story is that a new baby lion is born, and he's going to be king, which pisses off his scary uncle, so his scary uncle kills his dad. Blames the son, the son runs off, then he meets up with these two outcasts, they raise him, then he realizes he didn't kill his dad. You know, this sounds a lot like a Shakespeare play. Just finish the story. Fine. So he goes and fights his uncle so he can be king. And as for the game, it does a good job following this story within the levels, but the cutscenes don't really explain what's going on. They never show that his dad dies, so unless you've seen the movie, that can be confusing. Now, on to the gameplay. So the game is a platformer. You start out as Little Simba. 
You jump on enemies to kill them, and you roar, which is more like a whiny growl, to stun them. At the end of the first level, you have a boss battle, but it's hard to call it that because it only takes one hit. The second level is unique because you have to roar at specific monkeys to make them turn so they can launch you in the right direction. And then you get to ride a pink ostrich. But this is a pretty difficult part because you have to time your jumps and ducks perfectly, otherwise you'll die. Then a few levels later, you have the stampede where you have to avoid the wildebeest but also jump over rocks. After another level, you'll become Adult Simba. Now he can go and bitch slap everyone. Sid! And he can go freaking crazy with this one attack. Now I think is the right time to mention that this is where the SNES version is superior because of its number of buttons. With the Genesis game, you have to press two buttons together to do the mauling attack. Another thing I need to mention is the bonus levels where you play as Timon. You access them by collecting a specific kind of bug within the level. The bonus stages involve catching or finding different bugs while avoiding the spider. A fun little time waster. There's three things I have a problem with. The jumping slash ledge grabbing, the difficulty, and the enemies. First of all, there's a boatload of things that can kill you. And these spikes and rocks you have to knock down, you won't know how many hits it takes so, if you hit it too many times and it barely touches even a single pixel of you, you'll die. And there's way too many enemies in some parts. Like here, where you have to keep fighting the, I, I'm guessing, hyenas. They just keep coming all the while you have this monkey throwing crap at you. And all these spikes and you never know if the roar is in range. Good lord, they just keep coming, holy crap. And as for the jumping, sometimes you do a running jump. And sometimes, usually when you need to do a running jump, you'll do this little pansy jump and you'll most likely take some damage. And grabbing the edge is insane. You have to be on the exact edge of it or you'll fall through, making it very easy to over or undershoot a jump. It also doesn't help when there's a situation where you have to jump from ledge to ledge while deathly water is coming up and each time you jump, Simba tries to grab above him and you have to move to each side and it really stresses you out. Nowhere did I find this to be more of a problem than on the last level, the battle with Scar, where you need to perfectly land these jumps or you'll fall and die. And this is a three-tier battle without any checkpoints, which will lead to frustration. But speaking of that battle, one thing I, I appreciate is that in order to kill Scar, you have to throw him off the edge, just like in the movie. That's taking advantage of your source material. Also, there's a level where you have to find the right cave to go in to proceed. That kind of stuff pisses me off. It's like a stupid guessing game, and everything looks similar, so I don't know where to go. I don't know where I've been, so I'll pick a game, and then I'm back where I started, which means I have to sit. Okay. <sighs> Overall, the gameplay is fun, but very challenging. Be ready to die a lot due to missed jumps. And don't expect changing the difficulty to help. <sighs> All the difficulty does is change how many lives you have. It has some variety, but can feel rather stale after a while, especially during the parts with Adult Simba. Hey Josh, what if people like my review and me more than you, and they want me to be the new reviewer? What will that make you? Then I'll be a monkey sidekick. Josh, you say the silliest things. You have no idea. As for the presentation, it looks like the movie. The level based on I Just Can't Wait to Be King has a lot of bright colors, like in the movie. Simba looks good, and so do Timon and Pumbaa, even Scar. But you'll find very little variety in the hyenas. There's only two types, one that look like the ones in the movie, and the ones that never stop appearing. Also, some areas are darker than they need to be. When I first got to this part of the level, I didn't know you could knock down the stalagmites. They just look like scenery. Now the music great versions of the songs from the movie, and they're all used at the appropriate places. It also features very well done voice clips from the movie. It starts. Even though the cutscenes don't really help move the story along. Now on to the cheats. Take it away, Sid. Thanks, Sid. I'm surrounded by idiots. If you go to the options screen and press A, B, R, R, Y, you'll access the cheat section where you can turn on invincibility and also you can select your level. Thank you, Sid. So, what did I think of The Lion King overall? 
This game does somewhat of a good job telling the story, and hits the major points in the movie. It's odd that Pinocchio did the best job though with the storybook actually explaining what's happening. I would have liked to see more variety in the gameplay, and maybe tone down the difficulty a bit seeing how this game was aimed for children. I will admit I got frustrated a lot due to that awful ledge grabbing, which almost led to me shutting off the game, but it's fun and it'll challenge you. So if you love the movie like most people, or are a collector of Disney games, then this one is recommended. If only we could have more good movie tie-in games these days. So, how did I do? You did fine. You need a little improvement in some areas, but overall you did a good job. So can I go off and now create SIDS reviews? Why would you do that? You're fine here at JG Reviews. Um, because my name's not JG. Duh. Just because your name isn't JG doesn't mean you can't do reviews. What do you mean? Let me explain. JG Reviews. What a wonderful name. JG Reviews. Where we review games. Ah, you got no worries. Review whatever you play, and occasionally you'll have to sing on JG Reviews. So, I heard that there was an original JG Reviews. Yeah, I made it when I was 12 years old. When you were 12? Wait a second. If you were 12 when you made it, that means... When you were a 7th grader When I was a 7th grader Very nice, thanks I found that I just lacked a certain appeal I sat by myself during every meal I felt so alone Like I had no friends So I made a video for the internet and I'm ashamed. Yes, he is ashamed. It was absolutely lame. Oh, yes, it was lame. I hated every bit. And how was that game? It was a pile of Josh. This is a family show. Oh, right. Sorry. JG Reviews. What a wonderful name. JG Reviews. Where we review games. You got no worries. Review whatever you play. Yeah, sing it, Sid. And occasionally, you'll have to sing on JG Reviews. Now, Sid, if you're talking about the story of a game, even if it's a story that everybody knows, you still gotta go into detail. It's just polite, and it's just the way we do things right here. No worries, review whatever you play, and occasionally you'll have to sing a JG Reviews. Wow, so does this mean I can do another review? Probably not, Sid. I mean, you're better as a sidekick. But, I thought you said, I thought, you know what? I just showed the world that I can do a review. Maybe even better than you. Go find another sidekick, because I'm leaving. Fine. Hey, everybody. Next time, we're going to be reviewing Toy Story. Wait, what? What? You have a problem? No, I don't have a problem. I hate Toy Story. Sit. This is your book bag. From high school. You know what? I don't care. You have fun on your own. I'll do my own review show. Go ahead. See if I care. I don't need you anyway. 
subscribe.